Hello, this is Chris Rude here, and I just wanted to share this idea out on the world. Um, pardon me for the for the rather raw nature of this footage. I just got my iPhone to do some video recording. Anyway, a few days ago, I was at a friend's house, and uh, my friend he had this great thing for graphic design, one of these stylus pads where they can you can kind of sketch on the pad, and it'll move the mouse cursor around. And I thought, that's a great idea. That really uh, is something that could help me with my drawing, because clicking and dragging with a mouse to draw circles is not my forte. And uh, I looked at it, and these things can be rather expensive. So I thought, there's got to be a cheaper way, especially since I have an iPad at my disposal. And I know some ways to connect in, into the MacBook and control it. So what I found. I've known about this software for a while. If you don't know about it, it's a great piece of it's a great tool. It's called Fantastic and it's created by Pink Twins. And simply what it does is you can do some raw drawing on your iPad to create interface items and then you can take the touch events and it'll go straight to your computer and you can work with them. And I also use Max MSP and I found this website in the forums. It's a uh, it's something called Autobot. It's a Java um, object. I don't know who created it. If you did create it, speak up. I want to give you credit for this. And basically what I've done is I create a little Max patch that gives you... It gathers information about where you've touched the iPad and sends it to the Autobot to move your mouse cursor. And that's all it does. And then I have a little other thing to draw a simple grid. And the main reason why I have that is to make sure that um, I don't forget that Fantastic is running. So now I've got my grid on the iPad. Everything's connected up, and I can touch and slide, and my cursor is moving on my screen. What's this useful for? Well, if I want to draw in GIMP or anything like that, I can now use a freehand motion to do that. I'm seriously considering getting a stylus, so if you have an iPad, and you've got a MacBook, and you have Macs, uh, you can create yourself a nice little stylus tracking pad. Hope you enjoy this video, and uh, if you want more information, go ahead and check my website out. I have a download for this Max patch, so you can use it.